Hello and welcome everybody. This is your host, Leervok, and you are just in that in time for more South Park The Stick of Truth. I was trying to say nine in there for some reason. In the last episode we got we uh did quite a bit actually in Candle. We killed a we killed a man. Um Neither we didn't kill a man, we spared him, but then presented uh, dire pig's testicles to the prince to prove that we killed him. Um, the prince screwed us over, so his wife, the princess, decided to give us a letter, and now we're in Vancouver, as you can tell, and we're about to show Terrence and Philip who's boss. <laughs> you better check your pants. <laughs> no? What is the sound of one anus farting? Who are you? <laughs> now you know. You're supposed to talk to them to get... He knows dragon shout. There we go. Any magician's apprentice can dragon shout. It's not like he fought it into his hand and hit you in the face with it, Philip. Okay. Oh, I got hit them both. How come he can't sneak a fart behind your fat? There we go. Sneaky squeaker. Very impressive. <laughs> after all. Yes. Prepare thyself, child. It is time for you to learn some true magic. This. Oh. <laughs> and now we're in the Matrix. Of course. Because Matrix jokes never get old, right? Is impressive, young American. <laughs> Not since Eric Von Thunderpants of Nova Scotia have we seen such prowess. Eric Von Thunderpants. Now, you must learn to control your anus muscles in just the right way to change a spell's frequency. Some objects seem too large to be damaged by magic, but now I will break through it with Nagasaki. <laughs> this is amazing. Now you try. Believe in yourself. So Nagasaki is probably the only. It's probably one of the only spells that actually requires you to do this little technique that we've been seeing this whole time. These three pedophiles from Alberta will have their way with you unless you damage them all with one move. Oh, God. There we go. That's it. You have the power. I feel like I was in a haze. And don't ever, ever fart on a man's balls. <laughs> it's like they're building that up for something. Eh. I'm sure, I'm sure it's okay. I'm sure it'll never play a part in anything whatsoever. So yeah, now that we know the Nagasaki, our final of the uh, Dragon Shout spells, <laughs> or, anus, or uh, anal spells, we can now... Break things that have a green, a uh, green little uh, crack through them. We saw this up here in this cave. Um, so we could actually destroy those skulls. Can we destroy that? Nope. We saw this through here. Um, pull down. Oh, wrong one. Holding it up, move L around to tune the frequency. And you just kind of basically. It's right here. You just basically circle the controller until you get to the right frequency, and the controller will vibrate, and you'll also see the screen vibrate accordingly. <coughs> Excuse me. Um. Let me see here. I'm actually going to show it off. Do we have enough now? Let me see. Probably not. Um, it's 100 mana. Of course it wasn't enough. Okay. Um, go get right in the middle. It's going to be a very quick battle here. We can get rid of most of the enemies. And then what we don't get rid of 
Rain of arrows. Ready? Aim. Fire. <laughs> I hope this alliance can last. Okay, so that's loot. You can get a lot of Canada. Oh, wait, what was that we just got? The barbarian thing? Okay, that looks like a little weapon patch. What is it? Yep. Or, oh, okay, Joy Buzzer. That wasn't what we were looking. Um. Hmm. I don't want to keep the battle bow, though. Oh, that hits random targets. That, yeah, okay, so. What are these changes? Positive queefy store test. Baron mullet. Lumberjack beard. Hold on. Rugged masculine. Okay. Tana. Self defense. Maybe weapon attack for 200 more damage. Hmm. Oops, strong button. Okay, so... Why do we have this equipped? Why do we equip the axe? There we go. Sweet Katana. Uh, I'm trying to... It wasn't, it wasn't the Barbarian gear or something else. This game needs subtitles. Yes, I'm aware that we're actually looking at subtitles right now. That's the joke. Princess of Canada, Minister of Montreal. We're just friends with everyone, aren't we? We got some more Canada. What's the message from the princess? You are true here of Canada. Hmm. Okay, so we are. I'll do everything I can. Wow. Canadian greeting. <coughs> okay, let's. Fireball these guys and get the H out of D. I guess it'll be H out of C, huh? The H word out of the C word. Ready? Okay. Fire. And the second wave caused them to run away. Killed these dire bears. Okay, so... Got everything in can, I believe. Uh, just so you know, you cannot control the boats. I'm not sure if I'm, I'm not sure if I mentioned that or, before or not. Um... Actually, if you listen to the song, um... Welcome to the shop. Can I interest you in my class? <coughs> Anyone else notice the song? It's, uh, Blame Canada. I love it, the Canadian halberd. From the frigid battle arena of the, of the north, eh? It's a hockey stick with spite with a, with a hockey skate on it. Blame Canada. Da, 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 da. I can't remember the rest of that song. <coughs> anyway. Let's get out. I'm following you here. I hope you weren't 
I'm just gonna hit. Oh, there you go. Okay. If you head south enough, you'll eventually get out. And you can go back. And here I'm back home, finally. Whew. Huh. Starting to feel a little weird, all digity and. This isn't gonna. Okay. So we need to. Actually, can Compass Spell work on these? No, they can't. So we gotta use Dragon Chat on them. Okay. So now they're back in civilization, in the civilized world, uh, with Nazi zombies. <coughs> you can. Oh, right here, you see the you see the Canadian tr the Canadian tree up here. Uh, let's see. What do we need ahead? Ooh, ooh, excuse me. Go back there and bring the the translated documents to Annie. Um, can, I didn't find the armor. Let me let me make sure this wasn't. Yeah, that wasn't it. What was I looking for? Ugh. Wish I could remember now. But anyway, I don't know why I'm killing the kitties. Go ahead and talk ready to Annie. To the girls are ready to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. See, right here it says that five women were at the clinic that day. And right there it says Nancy Turner, 3.30 p.m. That's Heidi's mom. So Heidi Turner was the two-faced bitch. Mm. The evidence is irrefutable. Thanks, new kid. We now know it was Heidi Turner all along who was spreading the rumors. Freaking whore. Two-faced butt rag. Fuck Heidi Turner and her fucking two-faced ass. But Heidi's really Wow. Sad, so we're deciding to forgive her. <laughs> I love you guys so much. We love you too, Heidi. Yay! 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 You certainly work well, new kid. So you have our services. Tell the boys we will play their game. Sparkle. Sunshine. Yay. We have, we have 87 friends now, uh, and I think this is... As an honorary girl, you've been granted full access to our adorable supplies. Wanna do a little shopping? Maybe this has the stuff I'm looking for. I think the fairy princess bow, definitely. Not, we're not getting the chakram. The chakram is bounce on six targets. It's, yeah, I don't like that. But I do believe... There we go. Stupid spoiled whore gloves. What is it? Who's more likely to attack allies? Oh, really? <coughs> Excuse me. Whore attack on a grossed out target, okay. It can be puke, gross aura, super gross. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. That's neat. That's actually kind of neat. I never looked at the gear before. Which is on. Oh wow, that's pretty good. And then. Just to add it to our collection, because I like the way it looks. I don't think we'll ever be using it, though. Let's sell all our junk first. Oh, we had uh, we had anything to look at. Um, <coughs> we have 10 of... Okay, you're good. Let's leave. Did it tell us to report to Kyle? 
Yeah, return to Kyle. Okay. Hey, Kyle. What's up? <laughs> uh, actually, speaking of which, I think I'm gonna switch over and play as someone else for a bit. Uh, I think Cartman. So, next episode. <laughs> oh, yeah, exist Somalian pirates. Okay. Um. Oh, yeah, we need to equip our new gear. So, first things first, the fairy princess bow, uh, is already way better than what we have. Uh, we'll take that off. A bit like Cupid's bow, except instead of falling in love, the target has an arrow stuck in their face. It's for extra damage, strong against armor. Then, what we can add to it, we can go ahead and add 100 frost damage, because I don't think anything's immune to frost in this game. Come to think, come to think of it. The frost damage works out well. Um, gonna be equipping the fairy prince that, the fairy equipment. Just because all the, uh, PP buffs. Oh, hold on. Hmm. What do I equip? Hold up. Why did I equip the barbarian? Why did I get the bar? Oh! I had that from a long time ago, didn't I? Gain 3 PP each turn. That's a problem with that now, isn't it? Because it only has one slot. But. Hmm. I'm gonna keep this. We're going to change the, uh... So that way we just do our bow and it'll give us 4 PP. <coughs> and this, we can just... People when you block and attack. Basically, I want to I want to have like I want to have power points back at the end of every turn. I want to be able to go from zero to full and like if I need be. They painted the kitchen this color because Kyle family really likes gold for some reason. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here for now. So the next episode we'll talk to Kyle and continue on our quest. Until then, um, I'll see you guys later.